really cold. Gonna get set up for some beach fishing. Got some fresh shrimp, some live shrimp. Let's see what we can catch today. <laughs> Draw out some live shrimp if the bite's good. Or if the bite's slow. Draw out some fresh shrimp. Let's see if we can catch a couple of fish for dinner. It's cold, but look how nice. It's pretty flat. Good west wind. You know, actually one of the first things that sometimes pops into my head is my respects for the commercial guys that are, are out there. Oh, I grew up with a lot of knowing quite a few commercial dudes. Um, and days like this, it, it always pops into my brain like, man, I'm complaining about being cold on the beach, sitting in the car, chunking for some, some panfish. Uh, then I remember. Not complaining, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm actually, I'm thrilled. I think this should be a good time. I like the conditions actually. Hopefully the wind doesn't pick up too much, but the conditions are pretty good. So let's see what we can do this morning. Here, I ain't using the blue crabs today. These are for another day. Great, we got mushrooms everywhere on the, the deck. Hopefully these guys didn't die overnight. You guys alive? I think they're alive. More important question is these guys. This is what we need here. Got some fresh shrimp. Put my putting a lot of my baits in close. As I was driving down the beach, I saw a lot of dead skates, stingrays. So they're probably further out. Could be wrong though. Coming. It's like I'm waddling through some snow here. Two at once. Please don't be another one of those guys. Oh no, we're tangled. I'd have to move real quick. It's like 10 stingrays, two puffers. If I gotta come back, that's one thing, we'll see. You know, everything looks pretty similar right now, so it's hard to tell where the beach structure may or may not be. Make a little move here. It's a good one. Doubled up. Maybe. Not. All right. That's what we're out here for. Those fall time whiting called sea mullets. We're a Virginia mullet around here, but all part of the kingfish family. This particular one is a, oh, that's a Gulf kingfish. So keep them around 14 inches and bigger. We got a little slot stick here. He's about 14 and a half, just under 15. Cool. All right, let's get him on ice. See what else we can do here. Thanks, Whiting. So there's just a little wiggle, huh? That's all it is. 
I don't think any of the, I mean, we did pull one, our first fish was definitely a, a ray, but I think we're in the clear. We got, we got something worth going through all this for right now. I'm sure we're gonna have mixed sizes of these whiting. This guy right here is a decent one too though. Okay, one. Can I get started keeping a couple of these medium ones, 14s or so? After I get about six or seven, maybe I'll get a little more choosy what I'm keeping. All right, so I put this bait back out a little further. If it gets a ray again, I know not to mess with it. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Yeah, boy. Yes, sir. It's a nice one. Circle hook. See these circle hooks, the stingrays, they're really rough. With the whiting, they're not that bad. Seems to stick fish pretty consistently with them. So those whiting, yeah, they definitely eat fish off the bottom. They remind me a little bit more of redfish. You know, they, they, they seem pretty, uh, you know, skinny, so they probably cover a lot of water. I imagine they do cruise quite a bit, so. All right, it's a nice one there. Not bad. I'm gonna put this one back though. Try to hunt down a couple bigger ones. This one's got some meat, but let's get this one back. Some freaking skates, man. Nice fish, actually. It's whiting sometimes don't do anything until you get them right about here. So you're not sure what you're dealing with and then you pull too hard for no reason. Nice one. Hook this one in the gills, so I'll definitely keep him. That's a good one, though. Another 14. Wasn't as big as I thought he was gonna be. Just had him hooked in the right spot. Still a decent one. back okay i got a few live shrimp for the surf too i'm gonna throw one of these out here only thing i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna well this one doesn't have a horn so i was gonna cut the horn i like to hook them through the head but instead of hooking them this way they do tend to spin more i'm gonna hook them 
more like that. Just to try to get them to spin a lot less on the cast. That's what we got there. And this guy goes in the first trough. You never know. Black drum, puppy drum, puppy red, red drum, those big lighting. I think I might have dropped them. Go. Please don't be a stingray. A lot more excitement knowing you got some of that ate alive shrimp, then you find out it's a stingray. I haven't had a hit, so that's why I'm like, yeah. Nice one here. So much for my live shrimp theory. Be a red, I don't know. I think it's a whiting though. Good at time. It's the way to do it. All right, keep these guys. Had a live shrimp get eaten by a skate, but of course the dead shrimp. Dead shrimp caught something pretty good. I think we got a first double header of decent sized ones. Let me go rinse these guys off. I'll show you. But yeah, two at a time. Well, one fell off. Both good ones. Catching them two at a time right now. Not bad. So these are called the slot sticks. They're made by Boondocks here in North Carolina. One piece aluminum, real stylish. Got a measuring tape to 18 inches on there. Really nice rod holders. Put a link in the video's description where to get them. Bunch of whiting out of that spot. I'm covered in the rays again. I'm gonna make one more move right now. Seems like a lot of these stingrays are in these deeper pockets, which are generally better for most fish, but um, seems like I gotta fish the edge of some shoals. I think I'll have less of those guys with more whiting. I'm gonna make one more drop. I've got like six or seven in the cooler. No giant ones. They're all about 13 and a half to about 15. So they are a decent size for sure, but uh, let's see, make one more drop, see if we get a couple more nice ones. All right, I'm gonna make this my last drop. <laughs> but basically, got a little bit of a different configuration on this stretch of beach. More sandbar, less deep holes. Uh, See if we can catch you know one or two more whiting of decent size here please don't get me started on the new spot with the wrong stuff uh, i think we got the right one oh yeah 
got, I think we got three on right now total. This zone seems stingray free. Got that going for us. It's lighting, yeah. More texture on the beach here. Chiching. I think my live shrimp got clipped here. Got a fish on live shrimp here. Nice. Stay away from that stingray and the other rod holder. Hefty, 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 hefty. That is the biggest of the day. That came on a live shrimp. It's just a whole fish finder rig there. Got a stingray on this one, I think. We'll check that out in a second, but hey, another nice one. All right, I, I don't think I can reel in any more stingrays. This one swallowed it. Go, going through a lot of gear now. I think I'm pretty much wiped. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like a little too, too comfortable here. Okay. Need that thumbnail, that title. Beach fishing till I had to quit. I'm freaking wiped with the amount of rays I'm going through. Really, uh, no difference in rigs performing. It seemed like high low worked just as good as this rig right here. One of the more complicated ones. It's got a couple liters sticking out of it. Live shrimp seems to be getting, it's not getting bites as frequently. I wish I could say I'm catching everything I want on it. I'm still catching those stingrays on the live shrimp. So I think I got one on right now. We'll see. I wish I could be like, oh, live shrimp is just, yeah, you know, everything I'm catching on live shrimp's great. Let's see what this is. Oh man, this gets gets uh, time consuming quick. Got to retie a lot. Can you eat these things? I'm pretty sure you can, but I don't know. Got seven, eight whiting in the fridge right now, in the cooler right now. Why bother with this thing? You got to be careful for him though. With him, his oh uh, man. Let's pack, getting ready to pack up soon. But yeah. You gotta be careful. I, I got myself jabbed pretty good this year by him. So I'm good. Avoid his second jabbing. I'm wiped. Didn't seem like anything made a difference today. Live shrimp, dead shrimp, old shrimp, new shrimp. Bring someone who likes to reel in and raise. All right, I'm gonna pack up the car now. Check the video's description, links, everything used. Stuck with the nine foot stuff for the most part. Jigging world rods. Happy with that. You know, I tried blue crabs. I tried some mud crabs too in the mix. Now these guys really wanted the shrimp. So, all right guys. Well, catch up with you on the next video.